What's going on guys, my name is Brennan Myers. This is the 30 for 30 workout series and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Own a progression, it's all that I wanted to follow. All right, so today on the agenda we have chest and shoulders. Now, 30 for 30, what it means is every single morning we just come back with a free, absolutely free, bodyweight training workout for you to follow by 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if we don't post it by that time, just like we didn't yesterday, it's just a rest of recovery day, so eat some good food, watch some Netflix, whatever you gotta do, and come back the next day, turn your post notifications on, subscription um, to the channel. So, before we jump into this workout, I wanna give you a few tips you can be following, not only for today's workout, but future workouts, and uh, let's get started. All right, quick tip number one. It is much better for performance to utilize dynamic stretching rather than static stretching before a workout. Number two, if you're bulking and need extra carbohydrates, I suggest trying a glass of 100% pomegranate juice when you are in a rush. Number three, retracted and depressing your scalp isn't just useful for back days. I suggest doing it for chest as well. Number four, the new Create You Low Stim Pre-Workout launches April 27th. These will sell fast, so pay close attention to Instagram for more updates. And last but not least, number five, HIT or H-I-I-T cardio may be best for your body when cutting fat. If you need to research it yourself, go ahead and look at studies at pubmed.com. All right, here we go, superset number one. We have eight to 10 regular to pause wide push-ups going into less lean assisted handstand push-up. So with this first movement, what we want to do is our hands are going to be just about shoulder width apart, or squeeze our glutes in as much as possible, okay? Now, when we come down, we're going to pause in this position, and then we're going to explode out, but pause halfway going down, then we're going to reset. We're going to come back, about again, outside of sh just about shoulder width apart, come down, explode, and then pause halfway down, keeping our chin tucked, everything completely straight. Then we're gonna superset that with a slight lean in our assisted handstand push-up. So assisted handstand push-ups, if you remember, piking our hips, making sure our chin is tucked right here, okay? Now, usually we're going to the top of our head, right? Well, with this movement, we are going to shift a little bit forward and we're gonna come almost towards our nose and you're gonna feel a little bit more in your upper pec as you come back, okay? So the movement is down here, and then coming back right th through here. So it's this kind of diagonal plane, all right? So one more time here, keeping our elbows tucked in slightly and squeezing as much as possible with our pecs. All right, this superset, we have fast door hinge flies coming from here and really, really squeezing at this position, okay? And then we're gonna be moving straight into some pulsators in a bent over position. I'll show you that posterior to anterior, okay? So with this movement, what we're gonna be doing is you're gonna line yourself up so you can feel exactly where your chest is engaging most in this position, okay? So tuck in your chin, completely neutral spine, all the way from head to toe right here, okay? Now you're gonna come out just not too much, just a slight bit. I would say a little less than, than fully open here, okay? So right here, you're still stabilizing, keep retracting, depressing that scap. And what you're gonna do from this position, I want you to move your feet, look at my feet, you're gonna go into a staggered stance. The reason why I'm gonna go into a staggered stance is because I'm gonna be rotating as so, okay? So it's gonna be like boom, okay? So with this movement, it's gonna be fast and explosive, right? So you're gonna be in this position right here, you're gonna put some tension on the actual hinge itself, and then boom, and squeeze and hold for about five seconds, and then come back and return. So we here, squeeze, and hold for five seconds, and then come right back down, okay? Staggered stance, squeezing everything, squeeze, hold it, for about five seconds, and hold, okay? Then we're gonna move straight into these bent over pulsators, posterior delt, okay? So you're gonna be here, pulsating, but then you're gonna be coming up to overhead, as so, and then right back down. And that would be one, okay? So, keeping that chin completely open here towards the ground, attracting and depressing those scaps, trying to really, really bend at those hips, keeping your chin tucked all the way through, all the way up, and all the way back, and that is your superset. All right, here we go, we have as many reps as possible, push-ups. Now, just a reminder, and I'm not going to do all of them. You know how to do push-ups generally, but just a reminder here, make sure your, your hands are pointed outward slightly, okay, and they're just outside of shoulder width apart, and also make sure that you're not flaring your elbows out here, okay? This is not going to be good for your shoulders. Trust me on that. I've had a lot of shoulder injuries, um, and we want to make sure that we're here. It's almost like we're retracting and depressing our scalp, keeping our chin back, and feeling very, very tight through the entire movement here. 
coming right back up, okay? So make sure you're just doing these properly. Right when you feel like you're getting out of, of technique and everything, then I suggest just cool down a little bit um, and, and move on to the next superset. All right, here we go. We have 10 tuck clench hold into 12 dips. So there's 10 of the tech, uh, I can't even speak, the tuck clench holds. <laughs> It's not 10 second hold, it's about a two to three second hold, but you're gonna repeat again and again and again, okay? So tuck plants, what we're gonna do is open up your hands a little bit, okay? You can have your feet on the ground if you want and just do some forward leans and really, really protract your scaps. Protraction means going away from your body, really your scapulas, your scapulas are your two big, like, big old bones that are over here, okay? Um, so what you're gonna do, our, our hands gonna be just outside of shoulder width apart, like slightly pointed out, okay? Now, from this position, I want you to retract, protract those scaps, press away as much as possible, then I want you to bring your knees down, and I want you to lean forward, and you're gonna, you're gonna realize that maybe your, your hands aren't externally rotated as much as you need, your shoulder joint isn't extra, externally rotated as you want, okay? Now, from this position, as you're protracting everything, all you're gonna do is lean forward and try and keep your knees off of the ground, okay? And putting stress on those anterior delts and the upper pec. Now, if you see that your head is dropping so far down, I want you to keep your feet on the ground slightly. You can do it like this. You see how my feet are slightly on the ground. This is the second progression. And then the third progression is keeping your feet completely off the ground, okay? Then we're gonna move straight into dips. You guys know what dips look like. You could do it on a counter if you would like, or if you have a dip machine, that's completely fine. But from this position, what we're gonna do is make sure that we're not coming down too low and also that our, our elbows aren't too attached to like the, our backside. We want it to be in the middle, not flaring out too much, kind of just in the middle there. Okay, hands just outside of our hips, keeping our chins tucked, coming down. And if you want to go a little bit slower on the movement, you completely can and that is your superset. Last superset, we're gonna be moving into 10 assisted one-arm push-ups into five time under tension supinated push-ups, okay? So with these one-arm push-ups, we just wanna make sure we're using some sort of a, of a chair, a platform, something. Um, if you can do it without anything, that's completely fine. I do suggest, though, even if you're advanced, to use a chair because of the, uh, the amount of tension we're gonna be placing on our chest and our anterior does not actually our delts in general through the entire movement. So I don't wanna go too fast, okay? And I wanna try and keep my feet from being straddled in the straddle position, it, it, like fur, further behind me, straight behind me, okay? So from this position, we're gonna be in a, in a, in a push-up position. Now you're gonna have to go a little bit wider with this hand, and you're gonna see your elbow will probably extend a little bit more, okay? Now, this hand is going to externally rotate, or shoulder joint is gonna externally rotate just slightly, so you're in a really, really good position, keeping your chin tucked, all right? Now as you come down, you're gonna notice this other hand wants to open up, and that's completely, completely fine. Allow it to kind of um, actually rotate here as so, all right, so that you can come down properly and then come right back up. Now, the main thing with this type of a push-up is you don't wanna go too low. The second you go too low, you're really gonna put your shoulder in a position that is not beneficial. And if you feel any pain or anything, any tension, odd tension, just stop immediately, okay? So watch this movement real quick. Okay, so you're gonna come down, here, and then come right back up here, okay? Now, if you wanna bring it a little bit closer, you can do that as well, and you can come down. You're just not gonna be able to go down as much as you would like. Here, and coming right back up, okay? So it's up to you on how far you wanna go and how much you feel like it's working that delt and then also that chest, okay? Now, from there, we're gonna go into a supinated push-up. Now, these supinated push-ups are pretty tough, okay? So instead of a regular push-up with the hands aiming straight forward, Turn it all the way around, okay? Now with this, you're probably going to have to go a little bit further out, and that's completely fine next to your hips. Completely fine, don't even worry about it. But really externally rotate, retract and depress those scaps still, okay? Now when you come down, you wanna make sure that you're leaning forward, and if it's too hard, go ahead on your knees, lean forward, come down here, you're gonna feel like crazy in your chest, and squeeze up top as much as possible. These are extremely, extremely tough. Also, you're gonna feel your wrists a little bit. So if you feel your wrists a little bit too much and you don't have good mobility, you didn't warm up properly, that's completely fine. Just go ahead and go in this positioning right here and you should be pretty uh, uh, okay. Also, the further away you go from your body, you may feel a little less strain on those wrists and that is your superset. All right, so there you have it. That is your workout for the day, chest and shoulders. If you wanna incorporate triceps, Go ahead, by all means, I do give you permission. <laughs> Not that you need it, but older workouts, I have a lot of tricep workouts. You can also go to my Instagram right here, at 
the B Myers. If you want to check out any of the Crate U stuff, including the low pr stem pre workout that we are, 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 are going to be releasing April 27th, um, you can go check that out. Link is always in the description. Again, April 27th, these will probably sell out pretty quickly. Um, it's more of a natural pre workout, but it's lower stem, tastes amazing, 35 servings. Most pre workouts don't have that. So, yeah, we wanted to take care of you there. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. So, send me a message, DM on Instagram, or even comment down below. I, I like. I, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are loving these workouts, they're taking part in them, um, but I know a lot of people will also miss going to the park and doing a lot of those different things, which we will be doing once the quarantine kind of lifts a little bit more and we can really get explosive and you guys get a little bit more advanced. I wanna incorporate more advanced workouts, really high intensity, and have a lot of fun here on YouTube. So thanks for tuning in. Again, turn your post notifications on for the videos 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every single morning, and I'll see you next time. Peace.